Okay, um, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at the concept of uh, slowing down uh, and freezing frames um, and the options we have. You can either do it in, in rendering or actually uh, when you do a simulation. So here I've done a, a pretty straightforward um, standard sim uh, and I'm ro rotating the camera around on a spline. So uh, we're actually going to move around and see everything. Uh, what we've just got here is some some turbulence and some vorticity. Um, I've got density being emitted and temperature. I'll just show you the tag. Uh, stop that here. Okay, so so the sphere has just got uh, temperature of one, density of one. Uh, everything here is default, apart from the fact that I've added vorticity for uh, turbulence of 75 um, and two and five for these settings here. Uh, and I've made density active. That's all. That's all we've got to do here. Um, and we might as well um, shade with smoke because it's uh, slightly more interesting. And we can remove the fire shader. Okay, so we, we've got some smoke there. Very quick to render because we're not using any shadows. Um, okay, so th so the first area where we can look at speeding up and slowing things down um, is in the timing and the time scale so uh, if we were to run this say up to frame 100 and we'll have it uh, uh, have that at 100 percent what we can do now is we can either put it let's say 160 um, and slow that down to zero in which case it's going to slow down gradually. Um, we can keep it at zero, say for an arbitrary um, 219. Um, sorry, no, I want that. I wanted that to be zero, didn't I? Sorry. So we keep that at zero there, uh, and then we can have it speed up to its default 300. Well, let's just check that I've got that right. Let's get the F curve. So we're going from speed 100%. We're slowing down to zero. We're holding on zero. And, and then we're ramping back up. Now, for this to work, you, you really want at least to clamp these two or to have the whole thing done in linear. Okay. Um, if you were going to have this um, working on its default which is a soft curve you might find issues here with some of these dropping below the zero if you do select them all uh, and clamp them so um, now let's see how, how that seems I think you can pretty much guess what's going to happen um, it's going to start slowing down till it reaches a hundred at which point it will be frozen or was it 160 it freezes time scale here there it freezes at 160 and that should freeze up to 220 and then start speeding up again so if we play that now live Here it's slowing down and then it's frozen. So that's one way we, we, we can do everything. Let's just uh, remove this um, track and leave it on 100%. Um, so what we're saying is we, we had to do everything then there when we sim it. Um, what happens if you wanted to actually do it um, doing a normal sim and then have in your render just freeze on one frame well that's quite straightforward what we simply can do is we just uh, run this at 100 percent so we've got no frozen uh, uh, no frozen frames So I should 
really have paused, shouldn't I? Okay, so we're back to our default now with the actual sim running at 100% for the whole of the animation. Now, what if you were to say we like the position at frame 140 and we want to have that for the whole of the animation? Well, that's something we do in the actual render settings, uh, in, the, in the post settings, but we do it actually on a tag basis. Sorry, uh, we, we do it in the rendering settings. Let's just pause while I get my uh, acting gear. Uh, and, we, and we do it on a frame basis, which is in, in the general frame offset uh, and frame step. Those are the two areas that we want to be looking at. Now, at the moment, we're stepping one frame at a time. Um, and to freeze, we want to actually step at zero, so that there actually are no steps. Uh, and we want a frame offset. Whichever frame we want to choose, say 140, we need to put this at minus 140. Um, so now it's it's jumped to, to frame 140 and there's no frame step so uh, it will stick on that one frame uh, and if we animate the whole um, the, the whole scene which is 300 frames uh, you'll see what we've got which is a uh, something frozen uh, at point the point it made at uh, frame 140 now I'll just Pause while it does its thing. Okay, I think I can stop rendering this. We really don't need to see the whole lot. Um, what we should be seeing is that we're actually orbiting uh, around a frozen piece of smoke. Um, what would you use this for? I would suggest perhaps for galaxies or nebula. If you were creating a galaxy or nebula, uh, you get to your um, your final state where you, where you like the look of, of everything you can either have it slowed down very slowly so you still get some movement on in the smoke or more likely for a nebula you'd want to freeze it like this completely freeze it in time um, and that brings us to uh, an another concept um, so it, let, let's just bring that back to uh, its standard okay Um, the idea of having uh, multiple containers all, all pulling data from the same cache. So let's just put in a, a couple of these. Uh, it doesn't really matter if they overlap because we're not actually s simming anything. Uh, at the moment they're going to be identical. Okay. Um, let's say we, we had a hallway with, with um, blazing torches in it. What we can do is put a frame offset of say 11 or even minus will we'll push it further up but uh, say 12 will be good for that one and we can have this one down to say 22 um, and let me just go and speed things up as I've said before um, you can get a bit of a speed up by uh, just pushing that up one notch um, let's bring these up to 70 and let's bring our illum uh, resolution down to uh, say 50 we're not too bothered about uh, accuracy um, so that should really speed up our rendering now uh, what I should really be doing is hiding the uh, sphere now notice how the um, the, the sphere stays in the same it, where it was and, and it was creating data for, for that container but we don't need the emitter when we're moving a container around because uh, the container has is, is got it burnt into it uh, the position of, of the fluids so although there is no emitter here it still picks them up um, now if we render this out it should render a wee bit faster and we can see we've got um, three all, what look, what appear to be three completely different sims, but they are in fact identical sims. Uh, they're just kicking off from different frames. Um, 
so this could save you uh, or it would save you a lot of time um, if, if you were trying to do a um, uh, let's imagine it's a Lord of the Rings scene and you've got a great hallway of the big nose king or whatever they're called um, and there's loads and loads of, of these burning torches but instead of having to sim loads and loads of burning torches you can just sim one copy the containers and, and offset them um, so, so this now gives us in our case three for the price of one obviously the rendering time increases because you you've got more um, fluids to render but so uh, you don't have to worry about simming again and I think we can stop that here because I, I think this shows our point let's just see what it looks like when it uh, when it plays back okay so um they they are different in because they're they're out of step but they're identical because they're uh, they're the same data and for things like huge oil fields um or even a battle scene where you've got sort of smoke coming from from debris or what have you you can save yourself a hell of a lot of time just using one uh, one sim uh, and then just retiming it like we did uh, and I'll just go over the, the, the retiming that, that's done here in the render settings the frame offset and the frame step okay um, I don't really know of a reason why you'd want to have a, a steps uh, a frame step of any any different than zero or one but uh, just to see what sort of look it gives us So that's um, rendering out every fifth. I suppose for troubleshooting uh, and to get a feel of, of, of what your fluid's doing, you may want to use it, or for some bizarre artistic reason. But apart from troubleshooting, I can't really think of any reason why you'd want it like that. Um, I don't think you can make it any... I don't think you can make it a 0 0.25 no it's 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 either 0 1 or 2 um, again you can have it as minuses if if you require um, I'm not really sure why you'd want a minus frame step um, but I'm sure better people than me will, will work out uses for that okay so that that's that's quickly covered those two um, points and uh, we can move on to some other fun things.